Okay, and we're back. We're heading to camp. Ooh, cutscene. You're a real wonder. I saw a light disappearing into the space-time rift. Quelled another frenzied Pokemon, have you? Yeah, I'm the only one in this region that apparently can do this. Well, still don't know what's causing the lightning that frenzies these Pokemon. <laughs> Sorry, I just got off work and my brain's fried. But you, you just go out and rescue them without even a hint of trepidation. You might even change the entire course of history here in history. And I definitely want to be in the good books of someone like that. Let's stay in touch, friend. Okay, nice seeing you too. Okay, I'll take the four grand. You quelled Lily Lighting it? Smashing! Let's head back to the village then. The commander will be wanting a report. Found her by the sin of my emoji, did you? Of course you did. When you have my level of skill, your handiwork can be recognized from a mile away. Well, it's the only thing you cook, so you ought to be good at it. Remember to be thankful for getting to eat such masterful mochi when you come home, come for dinner later. Bothers me that his mustache is a different color than his goatee. But first, you don't owe, don't you owe Kamado a report? Your meal can wait. Ah, it's stairs, stairs, stairs. Always with the stairs. This guy must have quads of steel at this point. So you successfully calmed Lilligant. Is it Lilligant or Liligant? It doesn't matter. Excellent. There may well be times when the Galaxy team will be forced to fight against Pokemon. But it is all for the sake of creating a new home for ourselves. Free from war and strife. Yeah, sometimes you get away from war and strife, you gotta start some war and strife. A stranger falls into our world from a rift in space-time. Then frenzies are induced by strange lightning, which likewise falls from that very same rift. But you have no connection to the lightning, isn't that right? We may need to investigate the rift itself to prove your motives are beyond in... Pugning? Does everyone in this village have a word of the day calendar? Also, don't try to pin the lightning evil vacation on me. I didn't do shit. There you go. Vibing hot potato mochi. Fresh from the stove. Now this is alive, eh? Enjoying taste of potato mochi with friends, sharing the latest findings from our Pokemon research, and topping it all with a good night's sleep. Truly, who could ask for anything more? I don't disagree. You gotta keep doing the same thing day after day. Is it really getting us anywhere? With a researcher with carving out a life here. That's depressing. Uh, well, here's a fleshy new recipe to try, Phil. It's for an item that should help scatter those gloomy thoughts. Scatterbangs! Uh, one pop pod and cast your fern. Come now, don't worry yourself so, my girl. As a wise man once said, trust in yourself and you will find your way. Those words are worth taking to heart, as long as we truly believe in ourselves. I'm sure we'll even complete that Pokedex of ours someday. I don't know, they keep adding like a hundred different Pokemon every generation. It's like, ugh, it's getting to be a real pain to do. The next day. Morning, Sleepyhead. You'll never guess what. 
I'm going to start working at the hairdresser shop. Now you'll be able to try out my own original hairstyles. Isn't that super exciting? Oh, I'm still going to be little against Warden and all. I'll be burning the candle at both ends. But I can make it work, don't you worry. Anyway, come on over to the hairdressers when you can, Phil. I'll give you a killer hairstyle. I'm pleased that you found a worthy successor for your establishment, Edith. Mr. Kamado, sir, how about the whole Ursa Luna situation? If you're here to work in Jubilife Village, you are family to us, no matter who you are or where you're from. Welcome, Erizu. And you. You will come with me. To Prelude Beach. Yeah, fine. Whole town's here. These people have just arrived here in Hisui. They will live together with us in Jubilife Village. When we and the Galaxy Team first arrived in this land, we came ashore on Prelude Beach. This is where everything began. This is where a new life for us all for all of you will begin as well. We've heard that the Hisu regions are inhabited by many powerful and frightening Pokemon. We've also heard the Galaxy team knows a great deal about Pokemon and uses their mysterious powers to help Jubilife Village grow. Indeed, you have both heard correctly. Pretty much giant red-eyed monsters everywhere you go, so be on the lookout for that. And the reason such tales have reached your ears is largely thanks to fail here. One of our survey core recruits. Through the combined effort of all our team members, let us continue to develop our village and thrive here in the history region. We look forward to doing our part, Commander. Yeah, that's a beach. The advancement of our understanding of Pokemon, thanks to the survey core, has expanded the area where we can op operate safely. That is what allows us to welcome in newcomers like them. You, you truly love Pokemon, don't you? Well, they're not trying to eat me, yeah? Hmm. Pokemon have, been, have done grave injury to many of our fellows in the Galaxy Team. Yet you still find love for these creatures in your heart. I suppose that is a necessary quality for one in the Survey Corps. Remember this, though. Pokemon are terrifying creatures. It is imperative that we study them and learn all that we can about can about them, whether we wish to live alongside them or not. And be warned, as the leader of the Galaxy Team, I am prepared to make harsh decisions in order to protect Jubilife Village. I don't like the way you phrase that. That comes off as kind of a passive-aggressive threat. Are we about to throw down? Commander, Eira from the Pearl Clans arrived. Good, I believe I know what sh who she's here about. As for you, you should see for yourself how Jubilife Village is changing things to the Survey Corps' efforts. Then you will come to my office. Bossy, bossy, bossy. Hey, dude. Mercy, what a treasure this wide open land is. I'm glad I followed my family out here and got to see it. I'd all stay quiet and empty for long. Is there anything out here now? Oh yeah, can't can't set foot in angle deep water. <laughs> Don't make me walk all the way back to town. There we go, we're there. Did you Oh hey, the village is actually growing. I like that. I always like when you're working on a town and it starts to grow in games. Hey Bidoof. Is there anything going on over here? There's a mission, but I'll get to that later. Let's go. 
talk to the captain. Oh, lots of missions are popping up. Commend you on your successful research of the Pokemon living in the Crimson Mirelands. Your next orders are to begin the survey of the Cobalt Coastlands. We are super into alliteration. Like, it, you won't believe it. I will let you know in advance there are no Pokemon nobles in the Cobalt Coastlands. Allow me to explain. We did have a lord in the Coastlands until a few years ago. A tragedy took him from us. Now we've had reports of people seeing strange, shadowy figures on the island the Lord used to call his home. We've also received word from both the Security Corps and the Supply Corps. It seems some of their members are, were attacked by a ghost while out gathering materials from Fire Spit Island. Fire Spit. That is a fantastic name. There are some serious concerns, and moreover, my clan just can't tolerate the discretion of our late, late Lord Seat. Desecration. Normally, I'd entrust this to our warden in the coastlands, but her situation is... complicated. Sure she's not just lazy? I trust my intentions are clear by now. I hereby order you to investigate these reports. The Lordless Island. I'll meet you in the Cobalt Coastlands. I do love it there. It's a beautiful area. Oh, and I know this must be a bewildering situation to be dropped into. I'm sorry. Think nothing of it. Fell is a talented and hardworking member of the Galaxy team. I'm sure he will sort things out. You tried to blame evil space lightning on me a few minutes ago. Don't try to butter me up. Indeed, Fell quelled the Lord of the Woods. I've seen both his strength and his kindness firsthand. The next area for you to investigate will be the Cobalt Coastlands. It is farther afield than the Crimson Mirelands, much farther. The path is long and trying. With your current rank, you should be capable of braving the Cobalt Coastlands. You know your mission. Investigate Spire Spit Island. Can I level up? Oh, can't level up. The mission's over here. Grogon. Alright, you want something? There you are! You're the one, right? The one they've all been talking about. <coughs> the Survey Corps? The kid that's been exploring the Crimson Mirelands? My younger sister Wanda is in the Survey Corps. You see, and she went to the Mirelands too, but she never made it back. She's probably Ursa Luna Chow by now. You managed to track down the Rizu woman with the, in those boggy Mirelands, right? So you could find my sister Wanda too. I could find what's left of her. <clears throat> You're planning on using a Pokemon to find her? Hmm. Would her favorite kerchief maybe help? Kerchief. That's always such a weird word to me. Alright. Is there anything else in here? I thought I saw another alert for mission. Nope. Alright, back outside. Okay, what do you want? Hello again, valued customer. You've arrived in the nick of time. I'm afraid Tahoe is refusing to do business me with me again. He is a moody bitch, ain't he? He won't listen to a word I say, so would you try to persuade him for me again? I'm sure you'll get somewhere if you bring three good pop pods. It's a token of goodwill. <sighs> tired of being your in-between, dude. It's a Pokemon I think would be the perfect inspiration for some new designs. It's a species called Shellus, you see. I've heard it has a different forms depending on where it lives, with different coloring too. If I could just compare its different forms, I'm certain I'd be filled with inspiration. 
Could you show me Shallows' different forms? One can be found in the Obsidian Fieldlands, and the other out in the Cobalt Coastlands. Alright. Anyone else? Wait, what? Where, where, okay, rare, rare. Rare, rare. Have, they haven't made a game in a while, guy. Alright. Oh yeah, this guy up here. I'm just trying to gather up all the missions while I'm in town. Nice yes again, Mr. Survey Corps. You got great time and as always. Want to make the fields even bigger, you see, but we don't have enough helpers to keep them watered. Okay, I think I got one on me. Here, take up a barrel. I'm never using this thing. I'm all pumped up. Sit back. Old Miller's gonna make the fields bigger than ever. And I'm all done. Fine work. Any crops we plant will go great. It's all thanks to you. We'll keep your Pokemon here to help out with the fields. Work a while longer. Just give a holler if you want to swap in a different Pokemon of yours to do the water. Okay. And the crops I had out here should be done. Soft fruits, hardy grain, plump beans, sand radishes. All right. Uh, let's do medicinal. Okay. Oh, who's this over here? Standing up on the hill like a creep. Ah, what a remarkable tale that was. The Pokemon it belonged to must have been a wee little thing. It was hiding behind some rocks when I found it, with naught but its tail poking out. But it was a tail I'd give anything to see again. Think you could catch the Pokemon I'm talking about? Its tail was elegant and swirly like a spring. Come show it to me after you catch it, and I'll give you a nice reward. Uh, Glammeow? Okay. Do I have a Glammeow? I don't know. I don't think I do, but let me check. I don't see it. I guess I don't have one yet. Alright, whatever, dude. On to the Cobalt Coastlands. Got a mission over there. Let me just run right by a construction zone. No hard hat or anything. Ah, if it isn't fell. Hey, Shorty. I suppose it's to be expected that I'd run into you in the village. Where are you going to study Pokemon next? Ah, the Cobalt Coastlands. Pauline is certainly in a bit of a situation over there. She's a warden, yet she has no noble to see to. There are even some Pokemon in the Pearl Clan that speak ill of her. Don't nod to her face. Cowards. Oh, but do forgive me. Perhaps I shouldn't be airing dirty laundry. Piece of advice, then, as an apology for wasting your time. Some Pokemon are strongly affected by certain stones, which hold mysterious power. With the right stone, you can even evolve some Pokemon. You need to look no farther than Cleaver for proof of that. What I'm trying to say is basically this. If you and the Survey Corps want to learn all there is to know about the Pokemon of this region, then the stones you find throughout history will be very important. Yeah, I get it. Evolution stones, I know that. 
I trust you'll take my advice to heart and not underestimate how important stones can be. Help. <coughs> Ooh. I just swallowed a stone. Yeah. To help grind the fact into it. Here, I'll give you some rather handy stones and things I found. Grit pebbles. <coughs> Grit gravel. As you. And should you want some stones that can help Pokemon evolve, I believe the Gingeek will kill some of them from time to time. Alright, can I leave town now? All the way out out here. The beachside camp. Pretty. I don't think the beach is worth that expression, dude. It's not the first beach you've seen. It's just got this, he's got the most surprised look on his face. Ah, the Cobalt Coastlands. A simply lovely corner of history. Sea and sky as far as the eyes can see. What kind of Pokemon awaits us here, I wonder? Water types or flying types, perhaps? Ooh, I simply can't wait to study them all. Now, I'm sure you're just as excited as I am to research this area's Pokemon, but let's not forget that you've a mission to accomplish. So, any questions before you get started? Uh, where do I go? Mm, indeed, Firespit Island is an offshore volcano. You'll need to cross the sea to reach it. I'd advise you to speak with a, a fellow called Iskin. He's one of the Diamond Clan's wardens and will s surely help you find your way. All right. Oh, hello. Oh my god, you know a different tune. that you can play without moving your fingers, apparently. I do love the flute. It feels as if its tones carry the very in carry to the very ends of space. But I'm here and so are you, so now I'm going to focus everything I have on battling you. Okay. Very good. You have seen the vast space behind the rift. Here I come. Oh! Is that Eevee Wild or hers? Huh? That did nothing. Also, two against one, not very fair. All right, that's the big one out. Oh crap, that's close. This this has to be There you go. Ah, now I feel better. The world is vast and I am small within it. Thank you. Allow me to heal your Pokemon. All right, with you, I think I think with you I can be frank. I can't afford to look weak in front of the Diamond Clan's leader or your commander, but in truth, I sometimes wonder how I've ended up with the burdens I bear. 
You see, we have a ward in the coastlands, a lovely woman named Paulina. But she tends but she tends no lord or lady. She will not raise a successor to fill the late lord's empty seat either. Some people have started to question her worthiness to be a warden at all. But Lena, that is to say Paulina, she's very dear to me, no matter what anyone might say. We were both in running to become leader of the Parkland. We strove to surpass one another, but she taught me a great deal too. Having said all this, I have a favor to ask you. Please help her raise a Pokemon she looks after into a true heir to, be, to his father, the late, the late Lord. With the help of your strength, I think our late Lord's heir would grow into a worthy successor. And if she succeeds, it should silence Lena's naysayers. I don't know of anyone I trust more to help with this than the person who helped the Pearl Clan by quelling Gleaver's frenzy. You'll be able to find Lena up on the headland. Head down this hill and turn left. You should find a slope leading up into the ridge. Alright. Let me see. Oh, Ghastly can evolve. That's what I was going to do. Ah, blueberry tongue. Do I have an item to evolve? Because I think you need like a link cable. I can't remember if I picked one or not. I did. Which means I think I can evolve it. To Gengar. A shiny Gengar. Too bad Gengar's shiny sucks. Unless they changed it. I know they changed it. Nope. Still a bad shiny. I did not mean to hit that. There we go. Alright, so I got a fully evolved team again. Alright, well then I'm going to leave it there for right now. Well, actually, no, not fully evolved. I need to evolve Ursa. Which I might be able to do. I think I have some people. I'm going to be doing all kinds of evolutions. I think I... Did I? I do. Okay. It was in my inventory. Wait. I thought the peat block evolved it. Okay, I guess I'll figure that out later. I'll evolve it later. Till next time, bye bye.